So next we're going to evaluate is the sensory system. In general rule, sensory evaluation is not done as part of a normal screening neurologic exam. It's generally done um, when you have specific specified abnormalities that you suspect. So if a patient has specific areas where they're complaining of pain or numbness, or if you find an area in the motor exam or during the reflexes that's abnormal, those are the areas you're going to want to focus on. There are a few tenets you need to make sure that you're paying attention to when you're doing these evaluations. You want to make sure that if you find an abnormality that you map it out. Don't just say, okay, it's abnormal there. Find out the boundaries of that abnormality. You want to make sure that you compare side to side, so right versus left, and always compare proximally to distally. When we're doing the evaluation, you need to explain it fully to the patient first so they know what it is that they're going to tell you whether they can feel or not. Um, and finally, do the evaluation with the patient's eyes closed. Because again, you want to make sure that the patient is not using visual cues, but only using their sensory system to tell you whether or not the sensation is there. So what we're going to evaluate for now is to demonstrate pain um, sensation in some specific areas where we know the uh, nerve root for those uh, as a demonstration of the exam. So we're going to start with pain. Um, so for pain response, we want to use a sharp object, but not something that's going to cause injury. So frequently what we'll use is a tongue blade that we've broken to make it kind of sharp and pointy. We want to make sure that you use a new implement on every patient every time. So I'm just going to snap in a twisting motion the tongue blade so that one end is kind of pointy and another side is dull. So what I'm going to do now is demonstrate for the patient what is considered sharp. So with their eyes open so they can see what they're doing. So can I have your hand? Um, and so what I'm going to ask you to do is uh, I'm going to demonstrate for you what sharp is. So this is a sharp sensation and this is a dull sensation. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'm going to do now is evaluate a sharp versus dull in three locations on the hand. So the first one I'm going to do is the web space between the first and second finger. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and let me know um, where you're feeling it. Uh, in between my thumb. No sharp. Middle finger sharp. Pinky finger sharp. And do the same thing on the other hand. And let me know where you feel it. Middle finger. Pinky. Uh, in between my thumb and pointer finger. Alrighty. So you want to make sure that you're doing the same thing on the lower extremity as well. Uh, so we're going to, again, check for sharp and dull on both feet. So we'll start here. And I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes. Uh, again, and let me know um, if you feel and just tell me if it's sharp or dull. Sharp. 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 